Last time I looked, you were down the creek. These canes have to be bundled and carried away from the stream bed so that they won't fall to the water and re-sprout at the joints. And this is the riparian area the Arundo team is seeking to conserve. Are you digging out roots, Bruce? Yeah, I am. What does it take to get those out? Root club. It's about the size of a watermelon buried underground. And uh, they're all attached to the same root club. So if I can get the, loose, the root clump loosened up, I can pull the whole, whole unit out. Now do you need a, some kind of a pick or something to do that normally, or? Normally, you would go after it with a pickaxe. Mm -hmm. So will the crew come back? with the pickaxe and extract some of these roots? Do if we don't dig the roots out, if we don't you get the to... root ball out by mechanical means, then we'll have to come back in with chemical means. But it's got to come out, otherwise the Urunda will come back. And Bruce was saying that those have to come out or be killed in some way. Uh, in order to prevent re-sprouting. So Is there a plan for that? We have a uh, herbicide application plan for the end of the month. What we cut today will regrow or a foot, a foot and a half. Then we'll spray it with herbicide. <laughs> and uh, that regrowth is enough to absorb the chemical and uh, take it down to the roots and it'll kill the rhizomes. So is that chemical application uh, harmful to other plants and well, creatures? Well, what we're using is a 5% solution of, of a generic glyphosate. Within 30 minutes, if it drops on a rock, it breaks down into its components. Uh, if it lands on water, it's approved for riparian areas. If it lands on water, it uh, just breaks down into its parts. So um, it isn't harmful the other plants. Now Linda, what's going to happen to this pile of stuff that you're piling up? It's going to be bundled and then hand carried up to the road and then from there taken. It goes over to the gun club and then the, some of the local Indian tribes take the, some of the stock to build ramadas. Any roots that are dug out and bundled, go, go, those go to the landfall. So what would happen if some of this inadvertently gets um, into the stream, some of these cuttings? Yeah, that's the problem. At each one of these joints, even this looks dead and dried. If this was placed in the stream, new growth could start at each one of these joints. This is the seed pod on the Arundo. And there was a science fair project for a student in Tucson who determined that these seeds are sterile. So we don't have to. is very much like Bermuda grass in your backyard. And it goes from link to link to link. And if you get the links out, you have the chance of stopping it from propagating. 
At this site last season, canes were cut and bundled and roots were dug. And if the layers of roots don't go too deep, there will be very little regrowth, which will allow native plants such as cottonwood and cattail to thrive.